Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about Desmoxax Planata, an absolutely stunning millipede. It just happens to go by the name of the Pink Dragon Millipede. For no other reason than it looks like a dragon, it's pink and it's absolutely awesome! I'm Mitch, welcome to Unseen Universe, where nature meets nurture. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not new to the channel, welcome still. If you like what you see today and you like it, please remember to hit that subscribe button and also the notification button so in the future when I upload you don't miss anything. I'm now doing regular videos, usually every two to three weeks if I can, on care, general husbandry and rehousing on a variety of species. I'm also now doing shorts, sometimes two or three times a day I'll be posting. It could be absolutely anything, just a 15 to 60 second clip of a video of me just going about my day, some general observations, some chow down on some prey or even some breeding. So keep an eye out for those. Right then, so let's crack on with these dragon millipedes shall we? Right then, so here we are, let's do this shall we? So. As I said earlier, we've got the amazing dragon millipede. This is the Desmosites planata. And well, honestly, these guys are absolutely beautiful. Um, so let's just get them in, shall we? Oh my God. Here we go. There they are, look, on top. Can you see that? Oh, look at them. Wow, let's just get them in there, shall we? So, um, this substrate that I've got in here is um, is the same as the substrate as um, I put in the uh, other millipede enclosures. So if you watch my previous video, um, I mentioned what was in that there. So, uh, well, these look good. So the... Uh, in the substrate here is, uh, well it's like a homemade concoction, rotting wood, walnut and beech, oak leaves, maple leaves, all ground up in some earth mix, it's got worm manure, volcanic lava, all this is to aid drainage, adds a whacking big massive smack bang punch of minerals and nutrients, various mosses all mixed in together. Right then, let's have a quick chat about the care of these Desmoxites planata, or the lovely pink dragon millipede. So I've got about 20 in this enclosure here, and as you can see, it's not a massive enclosure. I think it's about 20 by 10 by 10. Uh, the most important thing really is the depth of the substrate. Because I've only got 20 millipedes in here, and they're only about one to two centimeters in length, I think about two centimeters for the adults, um, I actually think this is going to be plenty big enough. Um, it's not so big that they won't find each other um, and it's not so small that uh, they're going to be like falling over each other and stuff. So hopefully they'll be happy in this. Like I say, it's got lovely deep substrate. Um, so yeah, hopefully they'll get together, they'll have some parties and good times and uh, everything will be great. Right, let's see if we can find these, shall we, before they disappear. So, as I said before, Desmoxites planata, species of millipede, also known as dragon millipede. These are from pretty much everywhere, really. I think the distribution is far and wide due to human interference in transportation but um, I think they're native to the uh, Andaman Islands 
and then introduced into Thailand and various other islands and, and, and countries, Seychelles, Java, Sri Lanka, etc. Absolutely beautiful. Can't, can't really see them at the moment, so uh, well, they look fine. They look alright to me. I'm hoping there should be about 20 in there. Shall we get some macro footage before they disappear? Okay, then, let's do that. Right then, so, oh wow, I mean, God, they are absolutely stunning, aren't they? They really are totally, totally gorgeous. Um, and a lot of them are still on the surface as well, I don't know if you can quite see them um, in this shot. But uh, anyway, I'm just going to finish off this enclosure the same way I did with the others. I'm going to add some, some moss on the top, again, just to... Uh, just to keep the humidity up, retain the moisture in the soil um, and also as it degrades and um, you know the, uh, the little dragons may want to have a little munch on, the, on it at some point as well so that's always good so we'll put that over there and I've also got some uh, got some more leafage going on here so I'll just sprinkle a couple of those over the top as well and then we're about done that's out Lovely, sorted. Right then, we'll leave them to that. Um, anyway, they looked happy enough, so uh, I'm pleased with that. Uh, we'll come back to these little guys in a bit, because uh, I'm not sure whether or not they're adults just yet. Um, I mean, they won't get that much bigger, I don't think, so, so we'll have to see. See how it goes. If they're happy enough, hopefully they'll, uh, they'll do something. Right, thanks a lot guys, I'll see you later. The weekend has landed. All that exists now is clubs, drugs, pubs and parties. 
I've got 48 hours off from the world, man. I'm gonna blow steam out of my head like a screaming kettle. I'm gonna talk cod shit to strangers all night. I'm gonna lose the plot on the dance floor. The free radicals inside me are freaking, man. Tonight I'm Jeff Travolta, I'm Peter Popper. I'm going to never, never land with my chosen family, man. We're gonna get more spaced out than Neil Armstrong ever did. Anything could happen tonight, you know? This could be the best night of my life. I've got 73 quid in my back burner. I'm gonna wax the lot, man. The milky bars are on me, yeah!